Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tui. And this is the room in which we are going to Yeah, there we go. Find the next deal. And by deal I meant warp pad. So now we have a level four warp pad. Which is awesome. Okay. Okay, we can't really do anything there. We need to do. There we go, is unlock that mumbo pad. And now we have to go get mumbo. Oh, uh, which is a little obnoxious, but. Okay, and then we'll be going to the roof. Ah, uh, wait a minute, we don't. We didn't get the globo yet. Where is Mumbo's Globo? Oh, there's a battery, though. Where did we need a battery? Is his Globo in his hut? That doesn't seem right. I don't hear it. Huh. Short of Globo. They're, and they're usually, they're so close. To, oh, wait a minute. No, we're not going to be able to do that with just Banjo, apparently. Huh. Oh, the Globo's up on these boxes. Such a moron. There it is. Okay. All right. It was that easy. It was just that easy. So let's go back here and see if we can get up there with Kazooie. Now that we have a Kazooie move. Yeah. I thought so. Where is this going to take us? Oh, crap. Oh, wait, that's not so bad. Because we just wore pack. Okay, so this is an ex this is going to be another example of uh, timed stuff. Uh, we're going to have to go... Mumbo's ability in this world is the ability to short out electronics. Not kidding. That's that's the thing. That's the ability. Me. Uh, so we'll be doing that. Oh no! Okay, we've got a globo. I said we've got a globo. We have a globo, sir. We've got a globo. Okay. All right. Hurr. All right, out we go. We're Mumbo. So now, uh, I mean, at, at least the presence of warp pads makes this easier. Near the crushers. Okay, Mumbo. Gotta get you up these boxes. Alright. Hope this works. EMP is his ability. Uh, electronic something something, I assume. I don't know. So now, uh... This will stop the electronic, or the crushers, for 45 seconds, then they'll automatically repair themselves. The belt crusher malfunction, initialize auto-fixing program, crusher will be reactivated in 45 seconds. So there we go. Mumbo jumps off to the left, hit the warp pad, go back down to outside his skull, become Baron Bird again, 
come up and we can get through the crushers. It's that easy. It's just that easy. Now later when we have to do this with Wumba, ugh, it's gonna be rough. I haven't done it yet on my practice file, but uh, looking at the description and knowing the layout of, of, layout of the levels, uh, it looks horrible. Wait, where's the freaking door out? Ugh. Garbagey. We still have enough time, but... Perspective is awful. Okay. Alright. Oh, yeah. Plenty of time. And then we can just shut these things off. The wall crusher has now been switched off. Okay, hey, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't know that we need that. Okay. If we go down here then. Oh yeah! Okay, wait, never mind. Maybe we could do that, it's just a pain in the butt. What was oh okay, good. All right, let's go as Kazooie and see what we can do. I mean, Kazooie can get some real distance, some crazy distance in there. All right. We don't need to do that just yet, I don't, I don't think. Oh crap, we gotta get up here as Banjo. Oh, whatever. Okay. Banjo's gonna have to use the warp to get where he needs to get. Okay. I actually wonder, it might be outside Mum or Wumba's place that we need to go. Oh no, it's right here. We'll steal this guy. Okay. Now back up we go. It's just that easy. Oh yeah, you come at me if you want. It's not gonna help you, Eddie. All right, back up to the crushers. Now we'll get up there, put the battery in. We'll have the cable room open, and oh, we can do, we can do a crazy thing there if we want. Oh, that's right, we've gotta. The, d the conveyor belt switches directions when we... All the way across the conveyor belt without touching the ground. It's awesome. And in an angle, too. I love that glitchy double jump thing. It's fantastic. Now, we can't shoot, obviously, as Banjo, so we're just going to have to deal with these jerks. But there's a pole in the corner we can climb. All right, so now we can get this and the service elevator to the fourth floor, which is fantastic. And there's still one more battery. We know that. Okay, access granted to the cable room, which we can mess with in a second. But before we do that, let's go open the service elevator and... Okay. So that's good. I mean, we've got the service elevator open to all floors now, I believe. Oh, that's right. Well, let's see what we can do with this. I think we were supposed to go up as Kazooie only here. Oh, yeah. Okay, we don't want to mess with that. This is seriously the hardest Jiggy uh, that I've encountered in the game. So yeah, we definitely don't want to mess with that. Fantastic. But we will uh, mess with this one. So the, uh, the cable room is actually a room filled, <laughs> completely filled with cables that will shock you. You touch them, they will zap you. But they will let us in to the quality control chamber. 
And what we have to do here... Well, first off, there's a Minjo. And I will demonstrate, as always, that it is a Minjo. By burning him alive. One dead Minjo. Okay. Switch to grenade eggs. We have to shoot the rare barrels. It's easy when it starts. <laughs> huh. They are reasonably rare, huh? Bam! Okay. See, and now the barrels will come a little more frequently. Ooh, we missed. Missing one is not a big problem. Hitting the toxic ones, that's your problem. Well, that, that will be our problem. Okay. And now, see, I mean, like, now way more frequently. Pretty safe to shoot at the one in front of it at this speed. Okay, now craziness. Oh, we did it! And we missed! Okay, now you gotta get out of here because, yeah, toxic gas will kill us. And it will kill us really quickly. Okay, we managed to get out of there. Uh, but now over here is a switch that will activate the extractor fan and clean out the toxic gas. So there we go. So now we can give it another shot. Luckily, the game pauses, despite what that animation shows. The game pauses at the same level of difficulty. So when we go back in, we'll just have to shoot that one barrel again to complete it. Now that's... Yeah, I just... That's easier said than done. But we'll give it a shot. Ha ha ha! Quite literally. Yeah, see? Crazy hard difficulty. If we stood back a bit, we might be safer from missing. Okay. Instantaneously hits the stupid... Like, and it usually will get one honeycomb off of you. I don't know if it did that that time. Yeah, hitting a cable is pretty nasty. Now it'll do, like, super fast economy detox. So it instantly clears the room. Because it expects you to do this a bunch of times. Okay, let's try it from back a little, which is going to affect our timing. But our timing isn't great anyway, so... There we go! We got it! Now, we can't get past there to get the jiggy. We're going to have to come in from that other room. Which is fine. I mean, we've unlocked it. So now we can leave the cable room. It's a little disappointing to earn a jiggy and then not be able to pick it up, but... Okay, let's try something here. Okay, there's clearly a honeycomb over there. There is something over there, though. No, there isn't. Okay. Alright, whatever. Cable room it is. Okay. So that's done. Fantastic. Now there is one more battery, one more place to put a battery. And then, of course, there's the clinker shooting thing up at the... Oh, I hate the idea of doing that. Alright. Uh... You know what? We'll try it. We'll try it. Um, it won't hurt us to try. I mean, it won't help us to try either. So here we go, and we're standing in the sewer. Knee-deep in brown stuff. You know what that means. Let me come back. More of this, everybody. Bye.